In this video, we are given the vertex and a covertex of an ellipse, and I'm going to show you how to write an equation for that ellipse. Okay, so we're talking about an ellipse, this type of a shape, and uh, unlike a parabola, please understand that a, an ellipse has two vertices. I'm just giving you one, but there are two vertices, um, which are always the long way. And then we have co-vertices, which are the short way, sort of the sides of the ellipse, if you will. And sometimes ellipses are sideways like this. They're stretched horizontally. Sometimes they are stretched vertically. But uh, no matter what, the, uh, the vertex is going to be the long way by definition. And the co-vertex will always be the short way. Okay. Um, and later, I will show you how to um, also write the equation if you're given um, a focus. Now, for problem number five, we're given that the vertex is 3, 0. Okay? Now, remember, if we're talking about uh, 3, 0 is on the x-axis. So it's like this. 1, 2, 3, 0. Here's a vertex. All right? which would mean that another vertex would be at negative 3 comma 0. Okay? Um, so, that is the A value. So, we're, we're given that the A value is 3. Okay? Um, the vertex is automatically the long way. So, um, we're looking at a horizontal uh, ellipse. Now, the covertex is 0, comma 2. So that would be like right here, okay, 0, comma 2, which would mean we would have another one down here at 0, comma negative 2. So the ellipse that we're talking about is like this, all right, it's doing this type of thing. Pardon my drawing skills, okay, but that tells us that the B value, the short way, um, is 2. Okay, now as we build the equation, let's look back at our notes and see what these equations look like. We've already decided this is going to be horizontal. Okay, so we're looking for the equation to have this shape to it. We'll have x squared over something, y squared over something, and equal to 1. Please understand um, that this is an x value. This 3 is an x value. So you can be certain that when we have the equation, this number is going to end up in the, denominator, in the denominator of the x. Okay, but this has to be a squared. So instead of putting 3, I'm going to put 9. Okay, and again, this 3 is a horizontal number, so it goes with the x. And then we're going to have uh, y squared over b squared. So since b is 2, I'm going to put a 4 right here. And then it's always going to be equal to 1. Um, that's it. So this, this is the equation of the ellipse that we were given. All right, looking at number six. Again, we're going to have x squared over something plus y squared over something is equal to one. It's just a matter of what these numbers are going to be. Okay, now notice that this, um, because it's the vertex, this is my a value. But this is like an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So if you see that this, um, this 5 is a y value, that, so when I put the a squared, it's going to go with the y. So right here is where a squared goes in the formula. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, 25, all right? Because a is 5, as you can see. Um, so a squared is going to be 25. Again, I put it with a y because this is a y value. 
I, so as I'm looking at 1 comma 0, again, this is an x and a y. So this 1 is an x value. So it's going to give me the denominator of the x squared. Um, so it's covertex, so I know this is the b value. So b is equal to 1, but guess what? b squared is also equal to 1. So I'm just going to have a 1 right here. So that's it. This is the equation of the ellipse that has um, this vertex and this covertex. Okay, this would be vertically stretched. And if you have any doubt about it, do yourself a little bit of a sketch. All right, 0 comma 5 is on the y-axis, right? This is the point 0 comma 5. Okay, which means there'd be another point at 0 comma negative 5. All right, see how this is a vertical distance? The covertex is 1, so this is going to be like right there. And there'll be another one at negative 1. So we're looking at a one tall and skinny ellipse that's very difficult to draw. Okay, so it is definitely stretched in the y direction, so the bigger number should be with the y. A lot of ways to look at it. Let us look at number seven. Again, we can write an equation for an ellipse um, by doing x squared over something plus y squared over something is equal to one. So, um, one vertex is at negative six comma zero. So that tells me the a value. So uh, the a value is going to be positive 6, OK? Because this is 6 away from 0. However, um, so that means that, that a squared, of course, is 36. So that's going to be one of my denominators, this a squared. OK, look at your notes. All right, the denominators are a squared and b squared. But look, sometimes a squared is under the x, OK? And sometimes a squared is under the y. So how do I know uh, where, whether to put the 36 under the x or whether to put it under the y? Just look at what coordinate this is, all right? All ordered pairs are in the form x comma y. So this negative 6 is an x value. That means this 36 for a squared is going to go with the x. Okay. Meanwhile, I have a covertex of 0 comma negative 3. All right. Even though it's negative 3, that means that the b value is simply 3. And uh, b squared then is 9. And again, notice that this negative 3 is a y value. That tells me that this 9 is going to go with y squared. So this is the equation that we are looking for. OK, for problem number eight, again, we are supposed to find the equation of an ellipse. Um, so we can form an equation of an ellipse by doing x squared over something plus y squared over something. And that should be equal to 1. Now, in the denominator, we need a squared and b squared. All right, it's sometimes the a squared is under the y, and sometimes the a squared is under the x. But we need to find a squared and b squared. Um, let's see. Well, the vertex is always giving us the a value for what it's worth. Even though this is a negative 7, that means that the a value is positive 7, um, which means that a squared is 49. So the question is, do I put the 49 under the x squared or under the y squared? Well, just look at the coordinates. All right, every ordered pair is x comma y. This negative 7 was an x value. OK, so that means we're talking about the horizontal direction. And that also means that this 49 will be under the x squared. All right, if it's an x value, it's going to go under the x squared. So we just need to know what to put under the y squared, and then we'll be done. Unfortunately, um, 
unlike the previous problems, they did not give us a covertex, um, which would tell us the B value that we need. They gave us a focus. Uh, they gave us a C value. Because um, one of the foci is 2 radical 6 comma 0, um, that tells us that C is equal to 2 radical 6. So um, in order to find the uh, B squared value that we need, right, B squared is going to go right here, we need to use the fact that C squared for ellipses will always equal A squared minus B squared. Okay, so let's substitute every in everything we know. We know C. So C squared will be 2 radical 6 squared. We know A squared, actually. A squared is 49. Okay, we are looking for not B, but B squared. So um, if I square 2 radical 6, I have to square the 2, and that makes 4. And I need to square the radical 6. Squaring the radical 6 just makes a regular 6. And this is multiplication. So um, 4 times 6 is equal to 49 minus b squared. So that makes 24. So 24 is equal to 49 minus b squared. OK. So I need to solve this for b squared. So I could subtract 49 from both sides, for example. So that would give me negative b squared is equal to negative 25. Um, but then dividing both sides by negative 1. Then I quickly see that uh, b squared is 25. And this is what I needed. So b squared is 25. So that tells me that this denominator is 25. And that's it. So this is the equation of the ellipse that has this vertex and uh, this focus. All right, number nine. Let's write a standard form equation of this ellipse right here. Um, well, we know that the equation of ellipse is x squared over something plus y squared over something is equal to 1 um, if the center is at 0 comma 0. And the center is 0 comma 0, so we can go with that. So I know it's going to be x squared over something plus y squared over something is equal to 1. So um, I need a squared and b squared for the denominators. Now, the a value is the distance from the center to a vertex. OK? And it's always the long way. So this is my a value. So in this case, a is equal to 6. So that means a squared is going to be 36. So that will be one of my denominators. So am I going to put this 36 under the x squared or the y squared? Well, look, this 6 is horizontal. It's on the x-axis, all right? It's in the x direction. So that means I'm going to put the 36 underneath the x squared. Um, now, the b value is the distance from the center uh, to a covertex. So this distance is 3. So b is equal to 3, which means that b squared is 9. So 9 is the other denominator, which makes sense because this is vertical. It's in the y direction. So of course, it goes under the y. All right, so that's it. That's the answer for uh, number nine. All right, it's pretty s easy when they give us the graph like this. OK, let's do it again. So looking at number 10, 
Again, uh, we have an ellipse at the centered at the origin. So we know it'll simply be x squared over something plus y squared over something is equal to one. Okay, let's start with the a value. The a value is always the long way, all right, the distance out to a vertex. So um, the a value is two, which means that a squared is going to be four. So this four is one of my denominators. Will I put it under the x squared or the y squared? Well, this a value is in the y direction, it's vertical. So that's why I'm gonna put the four under the y squared. Um, next, the b value is the distance from the center um, to a covertex, the short way. Um, so b is equal to one, which means that b squared is also equal to one. So that's gonna be my other denominator, which makes sense because this b value is horizontal. It's in the x direction. So of course it's gonna go underneath the x squared. So that's it. This is the uh, equation of this ellipse. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.